So we can say that the uh, final kinetic energy is greater than the initial kinetic energy. Uh, and I leave myself much room, too much kinetic energy for the circular orbit. Okay, too much kinetic energy for the circular orbit. Um, not only that, but as opposed to what we had here, when the uh, velocity was perpendicular to the radial line, uh, velocity being perpendicular to the radial line means that the velocity has no component in the direction of the gravitational force. So the velocity is perpendicular to the gravitational force. The gravitational force, therefore, uh, is doing no work on the uh, particle because its motion is perpendicular to the force. That's no longer the case here. We now have a velocity and a gravitational force. And the right angle is between uh, the radial direction and a right angle to that radial direction, our original velocity. This velocity clearly has uh, a component uh, that, uh, in the direction of the force, a uh, non-zero component in the direction of the force. And as a matter of fact, we can project the velocity back here. And we get parallel component of the velocity is non-zero. And That's the direction, that's the velocity parallel to the force. That means our displacement over any time interval is going to have a component in the opposite direction from the force, and the force is therefore going to do negative work on the satellite. So um, force of gravity, in this case, is going to do negative work. Uh, 